Hi, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to answer uh, this question. Do you use study groups or uh, study with friends or I guess uh, study in other types of uh, in uh, other types of groups? Um, and uh, really, the answer to this is uh, sadly not really. I really don't uh, uh, study uh, with other people. Um, you know, I, I think that maybe I should study a little bit more with other people than I currently do, but um, um, I, uh, I find that I concentrate much better uh, when I'm uh, working on things by myself, uh, and that's mainly because I think that, you know, if I'm, you know, working in, you know, a group of, you know, uh, some group of people, I think that one of the things that is kind of implied when you're working in a group of people is that, you know, all of these different people are kind of uh, learning the material at roughly the same pace. They're all kind of, you know, like maybe one is taking a little bit more time, maybe another guy, you know, just races ahead and he's done, done immediately. Um, you know, uh, but uh, they're basically... All the people in the study group, I think, are kind of learning things at their own pace. And one of the things that I have found with myself is it just takes me an insanely long amount of time, uh, much longer uh, to learn concepts uh, in a class than, uh, than other people in the class. Um, and one of the things that, you know, I, I would you know, really strongly, uh, rec you know, recommend that, you know, if studying in a group works for you, I, I, you know, absolutely recommend that, yes, you should, uh, that you should study in a group. If studying with your friends works for you, you have, then absolutely, you should, uh, you should uh, try to study with friends. I think it's very important to be, to try to be as objective as you can about whether it's working or not. But I think, uh, there is a good amount of time that kind of has to be spent individually, kind of free of judgment of how long it's going to take you to learn uh, learn a given concept. So uh, I would, I guess that uh, that's my answer. I don't really uh, study in study groups or study with friends because I find that if I want to learn things completely, if, if I feel like I like I'm actually learning something. It takes me much more time than you know than a typical study group might spend on on a given concept. So that is kind of why uh, why I don't typically study in in a study group. One of the nice things about studying in a study group, though, that you know when I you know have had the opportunity to do it, one of the things that I have enjoyed is that you know, and this is kind of built into a study group, is that you all bring kind of a different knowledge set to the table. You all kind of know different things, and one of the things that you have to be able to do if you're studying in a study group is you have to be able to explain things to each other. You have to be able to say, okay, I have this knowledge. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I understand what's going on. Um, I have to be able to transfer that knowledge to someone else. I have to understand it well enough to explain it to someone. So I guess that could be, you know, one of the uh, nice positive things about studying in, uh, in a group uh, and studying with friends. However, you know, uh, for me personally, I find that the most valuable time I spend studying uh, is really individual time that I, uh, that I spend. Um, you know, I, I do uh, more group projects with friends. Those I find to be really uh, very valuable. And, uh, and, you know, you can clearly get much more, much more progress can be made on a project if you're working with a group of people. But as far as, like, you know, studying something, learning a concept for the first time, I, uh, I really feel that I do uh, best if I'm learning something for the first time. I really feel like I do best if I'm just by myself working on that. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching.